what we have here is Dee's cowboy image and uh, she said this is pretty much direct from camera just resized down so uh, what we're gonna do here is pump it up just a little bit with the levels and I do this by watching his face and um, you'll see here his uh, nose the specular on his nose is getting blown out real quick so we don't want to blow it out we're gonna keep it down a little lower than normal here come to the mid-tones and lighten it there now shirt and background wise I like it a little darker like that but his face is too dark so by pumping up according to his face here I'm looking at the uh, flesh tones I like the flesh tones about there now his shirt and the background are really too light but that's okay because we're gonna burn that down so uh, I adjusted the levels here for the area of his face that I like and uh, we'll just do an okay and keep that you can enlarge just a little bit and um, oh what can we do let's grab a little bit of the clone tool here on a very small brush fairly transparent down around 20 take out that little red spot fill in his eyebrow here a little bit of red spot on his nose and uh, cowboys should look rustic so we don't want him too smooth but I'm gonna take out any annoyances here and just a little clicks under his eyes and stuff not much we want him to be rough rough and manly and uh, as long as we're here, let's grab the dodge tool. Now, you'll see that the dodge tool is bigger than his, his eye. Let's do this. Bigger than his, his catch light. And boy, that's really not bad. I was going to say don't do that, but heck, if it works, do it. Let's go back. And uh, what I was going to do is keep the, uh, the brush size smaller than the specular here. And I'll just hit that just a touch. T's main light is a little bit small or a little bit too far away from the subject. It works okay with a, a rustic subject, but uh, if this was a young lady, we'd want much softer light on. And uh, what we're going to do here is just use the black. And now, a lot of times I keep seeing these dark edges. And boy, even that isn't bad. I don't really know how this is happening how people are getting such rough edges here all I can figure is that the brush is too small oops we have the dodge tool there let's go to the brush and let's see if it's too small yeah now see there I don't like that you can see that definite edge it's because the brush is so small we're gonna go back and undo that and um, we're going to go into the bigger brush and I've said before about a third and here it is again one two a good a little bigger than a third of the width of the image one two three about a third of the height of the image we want it turned way down and now we can make multiple passes and it gives us a much look how soft that is it's even just a little bit too too abrupt so we can turn it down even more I just kind of brush inward here and we don't we're not getting the the phony looking halo around them for the most part I do see a little bit of halo up here and a little bit here so what we just do is resize the brush down to about the size of that halo and just hit that a little bit same here just a hair and see so he doesn't have that the phony halo that looks pretty darn good right there there's a little bit of a hot spot here on his shirt it's not a real problem but it's slightly distracting pulling us away from his face so get in there and select the lighter area and so that we don't get an abrupt edge let's do a uh, select feather and this is a fairly small image so we'll keep it at five and uh, we could just we could just burn it or uh, we can hit it with the brush again the black let's turn the black down even more look at that if we just burn it it'll just pick up in color and it, not, even now with the black it's starting to um, yellow just a little bit you burn it a hair and because it yellowed watch what we do we take the the paintbrush we put it in color mode we sample the color from right here and now when we brush over that we take that yellow out and look how it matches now I can burn it just a touch more now deselect it got a little bit of a funny edge still so 
and just come in and soften the edge a little bit. And now that hotter spot is gone there. But uh, that's really all there is to it with the vignette and the burn. Let's pump him up. He almost looks a little bit too dark now. Let's pump him up just a little. We're going to go to levels, bring up those mid-tones just a hair. See if we got a little more play here. Oh yeah, we do. That looks much better. And then his face is, is kind of red. So we're going to go into Image, Adjust, Selective Color, and in the reds, we're going to pull out Magenta, which will just warm him up a little bit. And then now he's starting to look a little yellow, so we can pull out a little yellow too. But I almost like a little yellow in there. How about adding cyan? That's better. Now we can do a preview before. See how reddy, how reddish his complexion is? And the fix. You can just compare. And he's almost slightly green as I compare back and forth, so I'm going to um, see if we add just a little bit of magenta. Take out a little more red. That's better. I can put a little more yellow back in him and warm him up. Now his blues are a little bit weak, so we'll go up here to the sponge tool. Make sure it's on saturate. Make sure it's very low. If it's not low enough, we'll get very strange. You start seeing the pattern and seeing the effect too quickly. So we're going to turn it way down and just make multiple passes here. That's really nice. Now the background is uh, it's just kind of flat and drab, so we're going to grab black again. And we don't want this. We're going to go from color to uh, normal. We don't want this small brush, because if we do, we are going to see the line. See? So we're going to undo that. We're going to go to a much bigger brush, about a third or more, even half. A bit too, better too big than too small. There's over half. And what I'm doing here, we're going to turn it down even more, is I'm not just on the image here, I'm off the image. See how a lot of the brush is off? It's because the brush is a soft edged brush. So from the center where it's almost solid, it fades out towards the edges. So I'm just working my way in here with just the edge of it. See that? Just, just like so. And boy, what a difference that made. It's almost just a little bit light. I'm slightly distracted in this area behind him, so I'm going to just scale the brush down to fit in there. And hit that with one or two clicks. And again, he doesn't have the halo. We've got a nice dark from the edges that just fades as it comes in. So you go from dark to light, and it just draws your eye in. No matter where you look here on the outside, draws your eye into the face, into those eyes. It's really a spectacular shot. Nicely done, D. Then because he is manly and rustic, we want him good and sharp. And uh, he probably is good and sharp, but in downsizing, uh, they tend to look a little bit soft. Look at that. We just add a little sharpness. Now he almost looks edgy and overdone. So we'll turn it down just a bit to where it's underdone. Grab the sharpen tool and just, whoops, that's turned up too much. So I hit a control Z, turn down the sharpen, and just pass over his, with some skin texture here and over his eyes. Add a little bit of texture to his beard, and boy, we've got a really nice shot. That is a fabulous shot. If you want even more, we can take the burn tool and just almost went too far with it. Let's go back. That's better. Nice. Nice image. And uh, that's how I would enhance that one.